So we are going to learn how to small dice an onion, which is generally how you will see it asked for in recipes that you will be utilizing. Uh, I'm going to always talk about tip to tail and around the equator. Very, very, uh, th there will be no time that I will ever ask you to cut your onion around the equator and I'll show you why in just a moment. So you can see these really beautiful lines that mother nature is asking you to use. And that's exactly what's happening is this striation that you're seeing. So that is the natural line that you'll be using when we are small dicing an onion. So we will always keep the root end intact. You see that right here? And that is what is actually in the ground when it is growing. And if, after we flip it just like this, the greens start to come out of the front of it and you get green onions and other onion starts and all of that beautiful stuff just like that. But we're gonna cut that off as we dice. So here we go. I'm gonna turn my onion. I am right-handed, so the the part that I'm gonna cut off is gonna to be to my right-hand side. If you are left-handed, it will be to your left. So I'm gonna take my knife. I'm gonna curl my fingers back. Anytime I'm using my knife, I'm always using my knuckles as a guide, and I'm curling my fingers back so I don't lop them off. And I'm just gonna very gently cut through that end hit there. And do not throw that away, right? We're gonna put that right in our stock bag for, for our later stock. Uh, we never waste anything. So now I have my onion. I have a flat surface to work upon. I've got my root end intact. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut right through that, okay? Just right through. So I have two halves. You can still see those natural lines happening I did not cut through it through the equator. And you will see that how important that is once we begin the small dice process or any dice for that matter. I'm gonna very gently peel this back. And this is just the skin. And sometimes onions have a, like a kind of a second layer of skin that's a little bit translucent, but it's still very tough. And you should definitely get rid of that and include that in your stock bag so that you can utilize that for the flavor of it, but not necessarily the texture. So. My root end is facing away from me. The cut end is facing me. That's always the MO whenever we're cutting up onions and whenever we're dicing them. So I'm gonna take my knife. I'm gonna use the tip of my knife. I'm gonna curl my fingers back. I'm gonna use my knuckles as a guide. And I'm gonna use those natural lines as a guide for me, right? Just like I said before, Mother Nature is telling you exactly what to do. So I'm gonna leave about, mm, I don't know, quarter of an inch between the root end and the onion where I cut. And you'll see exactly what I mean when I begin. So, using the tip of my knife once again, I'm gonna cut through, and I'm gonna cut straight down. There's a lot of thought about, because the onion is, is sort of, you know, spherical, that I should cut spherically. Don't do that, just cut straight down, it'll be much easier. So, once again, straight down. Once again, take a look at the root end and the quarter inch I'm leaving in between that end and the onion itself. I'm just gonna go right across, and again, and again, and again. So, I'm now gonna show you how I've left that root end intact, and how everything is still connected, and that's really going to help you for the next move I'm about to show you. So, back on the board, I'm gonna turn it to the right because I am right-handed. If you are left-handed, turn it to the left. Curling my fingers back, Using my knuckles as a guide, I'm just gonna cut straight across, right? And this is dicing an onion.